Cancer, welcome to your full moon reading for June 2023. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to get right into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help with Cancer's reading for their highest good, whatever they need to know. For the full moon energies, June 2023. Hope you guys are doing awesome. All right, there it is. Seven of Cups. Choices. Options. Exploring those options. Are ya? Followed by the King of Cups. Master of one's emotions. And the Ace of Cups. This is a divine gift from the universe to nurture this ace of cups into fruition to fill up your love cup make your heart sing full of joy the overall energy of your full moon reading the six of swords you're on a journey you have left something behind and you're heading someplace new not there yet though you're on your journey and the reason we're here nine of wands you are the wounded warrior you've been hurt yep you're hurt you're wounded you're taking a rest you've you 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 need to do some healing it's like you feel like you got the wind knocked out of you and um you need to recoup but you are determined to persevere you're not dead you're moving on you're determined to persevere that's what this card is all about determination you're a warrior all right got it all right let's take a look at the six of swords the overall energy of the reading six of swords this journey that you're on this this old that you've left behind and the the new that you're heading towards it's a whole new way of thinking a whole new way of of behaving of actions to take we have karma showing up this is judgment this is uh the same as the judgment card in in other decks they just call it karma here you're being called higher you're being called to behave in a way that is not typical like you have in the past you're being called to rise above it even higher into alignment with your highest self and behave accordingly think accordingly act accordingly and move accordingly Okay, so that's what that's about. And the Six of Wands, this is showing that uh, this is victory. This is success and, um, and even being recognized for your success. Other people see it and they celebrate you with the Six of Wands showing up. And temperance. This says it's going to take patience and time. It's not going to be quick. If you're one of those people who like everything like yesterday, it's going to be extremely difficult for you, if not impossible. You, temperance is here. It's It takes time. It's balance and healing over time. You're being called higher to your highest self for success on this journey. If you answer the call, you will be successful and be able to achieve all the healing and the balance needed moving forward and patience not rushing through things all right and the reason for those clarifiers the reason we're here because there's been an ending and a transformation this is death but it doesn't mean death it just means something big in your life has come to an end but you are transforming or the situation is transforming somehow into something else something else completely which makes perfect sense, leaving an old way behind, moving on, being called to another place towards victory. But if, again, patience, balance, and healing. Major Arcana, the Karma card and the Temperance card. All right, let's take a look at your options over here. You're looking at your choices. You have uh, many choices, many different ways you could go. What will you choose? What is the Seven of Cups doing here? What does Cancer need to know about the Seven of Cups, please? All Cups, if you notice. 
Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, right? Uh-oh. The devil just showed up. Shadow side. This is toxic energy, unhealthy behaviors of some sort tied up to this these choices. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. So you're assessing the situation, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out what choice to make. And the Six of Pentacles. This is all about equanimity and balance and fairness and everybody being on the same page. Okay, it... You know what it feels like here? It feels like these are three different things. They don't they don't really relate to each other except that they're all choices. You could go for fairness and equanimity where everybody's on the same page and whatever choice you make and what you're looking for. Or you could just hang back and assess the situation and take things slow and be patient. That Seven of Pentacles lines up with temperance, being patient. And the uh, the Six of Pentacles is a nice choice as well. Both of those I kind of like. But there's this other choice here. This could be anything. This, uh, you know, this, this devil, this shadow side card, this unhealthy behavior, this could be temptation. Things that tempt you that you know aren't good for you. Uh, it could be anything, really. Any kind of behavior that could be toxic or unhealthy in some way. It's just showing that you have multiple choices here. and uh, But they're all different. They're just showing you some of the choices. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, yet another choice. You could turn your back and just walk away. Whatever situation it is that you have to make a choice about, you could just say, you know what? I don't want any of these choices. I'm going to go look for something else. Maybe you answer the call to your highest self because maybe the choices are you don't really like what you're seeing, perhaps. So that's yet another choice. So I feel like this Seven of Cups, this multiple choice, it's just showing you that you have you have lots of different ways you could go. And this is basically saying you have free will. You have free will. You determine what the outcome is. Is it successful? You determine where you end up next. Will it be unhealthy? Will it be toxic? Will it be fair and balanced? Will everybody be on the same page? Will it really be equal? Or do you just hang back and, and assess the situation? Because you don't really, you don't really want to rush things. You want to take your time. You want to see where the nurturing is ne <clears throat> needed to bring the harvest that you want. You put a lot of work into something. All right, let's take a look at the King of Cups. This dude that is so balanced in his emotions. He feels everything extremely deep. Extremely deep. But he doesn't act like it. He doesn't let it show. He has a lot of love. Strong emotions. But he doesn't always reveal them or, or react from them. Okay, King of Cups, why is he here? There it is. Wheel of Fortune. Things changed. Major Arcana. Things changed in a major way. And the Lovers. A big choice was made surrounding love. Something that's very important to your heart. A major, major choice, major change happened regarding it. Whether you made the change or somebody else made the change or fate stepped in and made the change. Either way, it was a huge change. Having to do with communing. Communing with more than one other person. Three of Cups. This is getting together and love, joy, good times, cocktails, whatever. Uh, either way, it's usually a celebration coming together in good times with more than more than just one other person. Usually, it doesn't have to be. Um, but something changed here. 
something major changed regarding this and it is tied up to your heart it is really important to you the reason we're here eight of swords this is confusion this is a mind tornado of confusion this is feeling stuck uh, not knowing what to do next not sure um, you can't see what to do and even if you could see what to do you just would doubt it it's very stuck energy uh, one confusing thought after another just running through your head but nobody on the outside would know it because you show up as the king of cups either that or that's your person and again sex on the card doesn't matter male or female but either way, the energies that are here says that something major changed here when it came to communing with this person that that you wanted to be with. Major change happened. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. This is an opportunity for clarity surrounding this, this cup of joy that you want. The hanged man. This is uh, not taking any action. Just observing, just hanging back, not doing anything except for looking at things from all angles, trying to figure it out, trying to get that clarity. And oh my goodness, look at that. You've got three aces. You got four cards, and three of them are aces. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity to, to build stability. So an opportunity for clarity and truth, an opportunity to build something really stable, and an opportunity for love. They're all here. They're all here for you. But the hanged man says, do not take any action. Look at things carefully first. Temperance says, be patient. Balance and healing over time to be successful from your highest self on this journey. And Seven of Pentacles, that looks like the best choice to hang back. It's hangman, it's temperance, it's Seven of Pentacles. It's being patient and observing and not rushing. And it will come to you slowly over time, the clarity, the joy, and the stability. That's what this looks like. You're, the reason we're here, Two of Swords. Very much like that Eight of Swords we saw uh, a second ago with all the confusion this is confusion this is indecision this is blindfolded uh, this person's blindfolded and they were blindfolded on the eight of swords as well um, just showing that you can't see what to do what decision to make how to go about something and uh, it looks like in this particular card you have your heart space closed off not in touch, not connecting with your emotions. Huh. Let's take a look at what the universe has to say from this oracle deck called the Dreamweavers. The Dreamweavers Oracle. I wish I could sing. I'd, say, I'd start singing that song, Dreamweaver. <laughs> I sing it all the time. but I'll spare you. <laughs> uh, universe, what say you? What advice do you have for Cancerian friends for this full moon energy for June? What is going on? There it is. Card number 20. Stick around. There's a small something for me to read for you. And it says on the card what the winter spirits know. Oh, that's neat. The essential meaning, obstacles that are divinely timed, the season of rest, slowing down to regroup. Yes, slowing down, not rushing it, being patient, taking the time, assessing, hanging back. Don't take, a, don't take any action. All right, let's see what it says. Obstacles are placed in our path for a purpose to slow us down. 
If you encounter ice, you need to proceed with caution. If you encounter a no, maybe a yes will come from a new source. If you encounter a mountain, you need time to figure out whether you should climb it, walk around it, dig a tunnel through it, or choose another path altogether. Look, the choices. There's many choices, right? Regardless of the form the obstacle takes, the winter spirits know that sometimes you need to put something on ice until a better time. Yes, hang back. Don't take action. Uh, if something isn't working right now, trust that it's not meant to. At least not yet. What the winter spirits know is that the season of slowing down to contemplate and dream is upon you now. Take advantage of this time to regroup, rethink your choices, and make a plan. Only after you've rested and surrendered will you receive the wisdom that heralds the time of regeneration and rebirth. And who knows, perhaps the obstacles in your path you've been planning for may have melted away by then. Very good. I hope it helps. That's your full moon reading for the month of June, guys. Take care. Until next time, like and subscribe.